So I'm going to talk about how to install the DLL mods for Tailspire. First, we go to moddingtails.com. You'll see right on the homepage DLL modding. Drilling into that, you see a number of mods. We're going to just install the removing fog. And by clicking on this download link, it'll bring you to the latest build and you'll see a number of files. In here is all plugins, which means depth of field, R for rotate, remove fog, set injection flag, all that fun stuff is all packaged up with everything you need in this dash full. The dash full means that it comes with the BEP and EX plugin system. That's only needed once. After that, you can grab individual plugins. So in our case, we're just gonna grab remove fog plugin full we're going to open it. Now at this point we have all these files. The next step is to go to Steam, go to Tailspire in your library, manage properties, and then browse local files. This will open up your local files and to install, you copy over from the zip. After that, You'll notice it put new files in. This doesn't make any changes. It just injects changes into the existing, uh, into the running executable. So if we look in plugins, you see remove fog plugin DLL. If you want to in the future add more, you can always download individual DLLs. So if we want to R for rotate, we could grab that and put it in. Once it's installed, you can click play and you'll notice a couple things to determine or to tell you that yes, indeed it has been installed. So first you see mods currently installed, remove fog plugin and a version. You'll see a list of all of the plugins you have installed. The other case is once you're in a campaign, you can look down at the bottom and you see uh, injected build unstable mods. This is just to let us know, yes, we actually have um, an ejected build and it also sets a flag so the developers know that any errors raised could be caused by mods. So just some things to note. Uh, that's it for now. Feel free to leave feedback. If there are any bugs with the mods, please contact us directly rather than developers at Bouncy Rock because they won't be able to help you. And that's it.